okay? Kick it. Hi, my name is Jay Wright. I'm a senior director of business development with Qualcomm, where I'm responsible for augmented reality commercialization. And the announcement that we've made today is we are extending support for our augmented reality platform to iOS, enabling developers to build vision-based augmented reality applications for popular iOS devices. We're actually going to be making that technology available in two forms. One, an SDK that can be used with Xcode, and another that can be used with Unity 3, which is a popular game development tool that allows developers to write applications for multiple operating systems using just one application. And what I'll do here is I'll actually show you a demo of an application that's been done with this that's running on iPad 2. So what I'm showing here is an application called Inch High Stunt Guy. And this was a game developed by Defiant Development. And what it does is it allows me to drive a motorcycle rider through a set of obstacles and eventually jump through a hoop. So if we look down here, can you get a view of that? Yeah, I'm just trying to get that light out. Okay, got it. Okay, here. so I'll move my ramp over. You can see my motorcycle guy is actually sitting over there. And I'll go and move this over and I'll hit go. And he's going to jump over. Now, this was done on our commercial SDK for Android using the Unity extension. And now, with support for iOS, it's extremely easy to migrate this application to iOS. So what I'm going to show you here is that same application running on an iPad 2. And again, we can see that we have a much bigger experience because we've got the tablet. Here's my motorcycle guy again. Yeah, it's tough. I can move my acceleration pad over and my ramp and do the exact same thing. So really, an amazing augmented reality experience and very, very easy to develop. By using Unity in combination with the Qualcomm AR platform, you can build one application, works on Android, and then very easily run that same application on iOS devices. Okay, and this is available now. The iOS SDK will be available in beta form in July, so we're looking at a pre-release form here. But in July at the Qualcomm website, which is developer.qualcomm.com/ar.